Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Today I bring you guys loot from 100 Bryo Fida. And this one is being done on the Iron Man account this time. After my release of loot from 10,000 Moss Giants, I did go ahead and kill about 3,500 to 4,000 more in order to obtain the rest of the keys that I needed for this video. As usual, I was just AFKing them in the catacombs of Karend while doing some wilderness bossing on my main account. So the goal for this video is to obtain as much profit as possible and hopefully get the Bryophyta Essence, which is a 1 in 18 drop at a current price of 6.2 mil which is incredible but for me i will be using it to create the bryophyta staff um because with that i'll be needing it for the future master clue scroll steps that i may have to do and it's just a great staff all around uh which you can use it for many different things which i'll be diving into later on in the video before we get started though we do have some quick words from our sponsor today manscaped this video is brought to you by manscaped.com the global men's lifestyle brand that's disrupting the beard market. To my fellow gamers, are you tired of having to itch your beard during the most crucial time of the game? Isn't it embarrassing to get that mid-game snack caught in your beard? Or are you just tired of being called a neckbeard by all the noobs online? Then the Beard Hedger Pro Kit by Manscaped is perfect for you. It includes the Beard Hedger, Beard Shampoo, Beard Conditioner, Beard Oil, beard balm, a travel bag, a free gift, and a beard brush, comb, and beard scissors. The star of the game is the Beard Hedger Trimmer. The powerful 7200 RPM motor and titanium coated T-blade can cut through the thickest of hair in a single stroke. Style your perfect beard with their beard balm that smells amazing with a fresh blend of eucalyptus, rosemary, and lavender essential oils. Nourish your beard with their beard conditioner that is infused with coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. The beard trimmer itself is waterproof, cordless, and rechargeable, so you can trim in the shower to save time and create less mess. If you're looking to level up, go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promotion code MrNoSleep at checkout. That is 20% off plus free global shipping with promo code MrNoSleep at manscaped.com. Increase your kill streak today by joining over 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. And a big thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. All right. Well, happy Wednesday night to you guys. I uh, wanted to get this video up midweek. Uh, 100 Bryo Fida. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, really, the highlight for this video is we are just going for the Bryo Fida Essence Drop. Now, this is 1 in 118. So I do have to get a little bit lucky because I'm almost there. I just needed like 18 more keys than I'd be at the drop rate. So let's hope that 100 keys is enough. I personally don't plan on using the the staff for anything else other than the master clue scroll step that it does require but in general this is a pretty cool staff you can charge it with 1000 nature runes and you do need a uh, 62 crafting to actually create the essence into a staff so keep that in mind now the uh, passive effect of actually using this staff is while you have it equipped and charged you do have a 1 in 15 chance of not consuming a charge when any spell that uses a nature rune is casted that's about it you know it's a pretty good looking staff otherwise uh, i'm not too sure if you can do anything else with it maybe more free to players out there know more about it than i do but that's really all i saw about it on the wiki as you can see other than the staff which is the rarest drop that you can get here of course other than the bones oh and of course the uh, champion scroll yeah you get a giant champion scroll here if you're lucky enough that's one in five thousand the curve bone is one in five thousand and thirteen and the long bone is one in four hundred so other than those items the uh essence drops definitely up there you do also get a guaranteed beginner clue anytime you kill Bryophyta, which does make sense since it's uh, predominantly free to play. Uh, it's also membership too, but a lot of free to players are known to kill this thing. As a matter of fact, I want to give a, a special shout out to the guy who's rank one in this. I looked up his account and he doesn't have any membership skills with any XP in it, just seems to be all free to play skills. And uh, yeah, this guy's killed Bryophyta 5,919 times. So, needless to say, I can only be so proud of killing it a hundred times. You know, it's certainly not a huge 
accomplishment, but it does make my high score page look a little nicer. You know, it matches along with the 100 Obor that I did on this account. And the funny thing about Obor is the guy who's rank one in Bryophyta is actually rank three in Obor. I think he's killed it, yeah, 4,204 times. And, you know, you may wonder why. Well, people always go for certain accomplishments, and uh, some people out there also restrict themselves to free to play. So, you know, it's kind of a unique accomplishment in many different ways if you look at it. But uh, I myself, you know, I just enjoy member worlds quite uh, quite a lot more, but more to do and just more to see. But it really makes you think how much money uh, did that guy make from all those kills and how much money am I going to make just from a simple example of 100. So we'll definitely price check everything at the end of the video. We're almost a quarter of the way in so far. Uh, these kills went by relatively fast. I would just use my uh, special attack with my dragon dagger whenever I had one. And then, of course, Pidey with a superset and a whip and a decent uh, melee setup for me. It's just still obsidian. Haven't upgraded uh, to bandos quite yet. I actually stopped doing my daily bandos kills after a little bit so uh yeah i gotta get back on that definitely have so much uh, progression to do on this iron man account that i would love to show you guys but as i mentioned in a uh, prior video for the next two months i'm still focusing on just the loot videos so we'll definitely get around to god wars dungeon in the near future though i personally do enjoy killing bryophyta and i also like the uh, concept of how you can go kill a lot of moss giants and free to play and make some passive income while you pick up these mossy keys i imagine the fight is a little more difficult and free to play since you have to use I think maple shortbow and rune scimitar or maybe there's better weapons out there but it's definitely not as easy as it was for me in the membership worlds but the drops are the exact same whether you're a member or whether you're a free to player so I mean you can definitely make a lot of profit here compared to other money making methods in free to play the only downside is you have to kill a lot of moss giants to get a bulk amount of mossy keys but it can definitely pay off because you never know when you're going to see that essence uh, for me as you can see on screen there, it took me 32 kills to obtain my first Bryophyta Essence. And at the time of this recording, it was two days ago. The price is about 6.2 million. And two days later, just looking at the graph right now in real time, it's about 6 million uh, with about an additional 50k to it. So I'm not sure if it's going down in price, but you should be good to go. Either way, 6 mil is a ton. That can almost buy you a bond, or maybe it can buy you a bond. I'm not sure the price of it these days. But that would benefit any free to players and members too. I mean, 6 mil is a a decent chunk of change and you can also kill them much faster if you're a member especially if you decide to kill them in the wilderness you can bring a crossbow which is increased uh, accuracy and everything so you get much faster kills and of course if you want to invest in uh, cannonballs you can bring those as well or you can just do what I did and not spend any money but just spend a decent amount of time in the catacombs of Karend and the benefit of this method is that you can also pick up all the drops that you receive from moss giants that are profitable which is what I did as well and I made a couple mil there and you can, can get all the totem pieces for Scotizo and kill him too. So yeah, I really like uh, the trifecta there that you get while killing moss giants. I mean, who would have ever thought that moss giants of all monsters would uh, be profitable? But in this you know way of doing it, uh, it definitely is. Which leads me to my next point, uh, more profit. I mean, this is insane. Kill count 43, receiving my second Bryophyta Essence uh, already at 12.5 mil for the price check and we're not even halfway there. I will be honest, RNG definitely plays an important role in getting that essence drop but otherwise you're still going to be making some okay money uh just in the normal drops and you know i'm sure most of you guys have seen them by now it's just a lot of runes and a lot of rune items you know uh, weapons and armor pieces as well as you can actually get more mossy keys from the uh, bryophyta himself uh, along with other weird drops like adamant kite shields and of course the uh, beginner clue that i decided not to do just because in the future i'm going to be doing loot from a thousand beginner clues and i I don't know. I just don't really feel the need to do a hundred on my Iron Man, even though it's such a low tiered clue. Uh, doing clue scrolls and just doing anything on my Iron Man seems to be a lot more uh, of a hassle than it is on my main account. So I try to do all my clues on my main. I know that kind of sounds lazy, but let's be honest. I don't think there's any beginner clue reward that can really benefit my account so much that I'd have to, you know, do a hundred of them. But either way, stay tuned. I'm sure that a thousand beginner clue video is probably going to be released within the next three weeks as we are nearing 60 kill count. Uh, not much to update you guys on my part. Today's Wednesday night, as I mentioned before. Tomorrow's Thursday, I'll be releasing an Iron Man related video once again. This time it's mining related. I know it's like I've done almost every mining thing in the game as a video for 10 hours. This is going to be loot from 10 hours of mining rune rocks. That should be exciting, you know, a little bit different. So I look forward to showing you guys that one. Other than that, on my main account for you guys on Friday night, uh, around 8 o'clock EST, if everything goes to plan, I'll be releasing loot from 1,000.
Cousin Spindle, which is the, uh, I guess you could say, easier version of Venonatus. And oh my goodness, what can I say about that one uh, other than, you know, no spoilers, of course. Just, uh, I got pretty lucky. That's that's all I can say. And that can mean anything, you know, PvP or uh, PvM related. But as we are just, you know, killing the Bryophyta here, I just wanted to update you guys on those couple of videos. Uh, you know, other than that, just kind of planning out the rest of the month. And now the following month, I have uh, the first two weeks covered of what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be working on. So yeah, just another month down. It's crazy uh, how quickly all these months have gone by since I started uploading a little bit more regularly. But I've definitely been enjoying it still, and uh, I've got a lot of great ideas for the coming month. So we should see how March goes. No catchphrase for February. I uh, never really did decide on one, and nothing for March yet. But that's okay. Let's just have a daily video or an every other day video, and th that's good enough. You know, we don't need a catchphrase every time. As you can tell, the Bryophyta didn't really cost me any supplies. Uh, relatively easy boss to kill. I would say Obor is easier, but Bryophyta is just a notch down. Uh, the only thing annoying about the fight is, again, just the rootlings that appear that you have to use your axe on. Nothing good about that, you know, just the mechanic of the fight. It actually kind of reminds me of Axe Body Spray, you know, there's nothing good about that either, but uh, I don't know what kind of joke that was supposed to be. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the screen here. 90 kills into the video, and I did manage to get another essence drop. Had a lot of luck in this video, uh, which is great because my Iron Man really doesn't ever do anything that uh, luck plays a role in other than receiving so many dragon square left halves and so many curved and long bones throughout the last six months. Now it is time for the price check loot from 100 Bryophyta. How much money are we going to make? Uh, so it looks like with the all the rares included in the normal price check, 20.2 million GP rounded up. And let's say hypothetically I didn't get a single essence drop, I would have made 1.5 million GP. So certainly not the best uh, money per kill if you're not uh, receiving the essence drop. But needless to say, the 100 key grind was a long one and I am very happy to be done with that as well as completing the hill giant and the obor goals. So yep, definitely uh, relieved to have that finished on the Iron Man. And that is going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching the video today, guys. I hope you have a good one and a big shout out to the YouTube channel members with a special shout out to Swan Positive and and Matthew Stivers. Thank you all for the continued support, and I will see you next time. And until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.